Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I have here a little journal with me working in my unraveling journal. So if you caught any of my previous unraveling journal videos, you would have seen that I was working in what I called a deconstructed journal. And it was basically a journal of loose pages. And as I kept working in it, I realized that it wasn't really working. Like that format wasn't really working for me. And I kept gravitating back to my uh, Get Messy Season of Bloom journal, which I have in this little A6 Artist in Bloom journal that I made from taking Nazi's course, Nazi at Amity Bloom. And so I decided just to revisit that course, revisit Nazi's course, and make another Artist in Bloom journal, but alter it to fit the needs of what I want to use my unraveling journal for, if that makes sense. So um, the basic structure of this journal is basically Nazi's journal. I just removed a bunch of things and just changed up a little bit, like a little bit of the construction of the journal so that it would fit what I needed it for, basically. And so what I've been doing is transitioning all of the pages that I did in the deconstructed journal to this new journal. And so I already did like my intro pages and stuff like that. Um, and what I had left to, tr to transition was the little pocket that I made for my guiding words. And so what I'm doing here is one of those vellum pockets. And so I did this before in my previous unraveling journal, but I did it on a bigger scale. And this is roughly a four by six journal. And so I had to go small. And so what I ended up doing was creating two vellum pockets um, to sit on opposite sides of the spread of the two page spread and using my tags these are printable tags that I have in my shop um, um, as the tags and doing that page that I did in the deconstructed journal and just transitioning it into this journal and so I basically talked over all of the process really but to create the vellum pocket I just take pieces of vellum and I take like a shorter piece and layer it on top and what I do is sew down the middle first. Normally I would sew down all the sides but since um, the pocket is really small and I couldn't get the thread I wouldn't have been able to thread it and have the the tags fit into the pockets. All I do is take some clear tape. This is clear scotch tape that has like the matte finish and I just seal up the edges of the pocket. And so I have that little sewn piece down the middle and then I seal up the edges. And since it's clear tape, you can't really see it once it's in your journal. And then the one that um, is matte, it, it kind of looks like vellum anyway. And so that's basically what I do. And I create two sets of them so that I can glue them both onto um, the opposite pages and have my four pockets like I did in my original page spread. And so the original pages that I did for this for documenting my my guiding words for the year, I actually put them in with my 2021 scrapbook. So I'm keeping a scrapbook in my Felicity Jane Note to Self Binder and I just basically glued them onto some cardstock and inserted them into that scrapbook because Normally what I was doing was taking apart the deconstructed pages and then gluing the elements into this journal, but I couldn't really do that with these with the pocket because the pocket was made big. You know, it was made I think six by eight and this is a four by six. And so I have to recreate it. And so basically that is how I recreated it here. I made two sets of vellum pockets that hold two tags each. And so I have the four pockets and the four journaling spaces for my my words so my my word for the year is actually a phrase it's a gentle unfurling but I always pick supporting words and so I have three supporting words and then I have a list of intentions and that's what I journaled on previously and so that's why I have the four tags and so again these are the tags these are printable tags that I have in my shop I will be sure to leave a link down below if you're interested in them but I just picked out a few that kind of matched the crepe paper collections that I was using. So I'm using a mixture of Fresh Bouquet and Marigold by Maggie Holmes. And so I kind of picked these tags out because they sort of match the colors that I'm going to be using from those collections. Anyway, here I am just adding a bit of trim on like onto the 
the whole part of the tag and I decided to pick an assortment of different trims to add to my tags and so the first one was like this white fuzzy one it's actually it came in my Felicity Jane cocoa kit and then the second one was just a American Crafts ribbon it's like green and it has white flowers on it the third one was this trim that I got at Joann's and it's just like it's like a lace uh, almost lace embroidered uh, like little flowers and then the last one is just a pink pom-pom trim because those are fun and so I just I love mixing and matching the trims on this project here and I like how they stick out over the side of my journal because of the way that I put the pockets in. I put them in like sideways so that I pull out the tags sideways basically. And so yeah, so this is like my base. Now I'm looking through like all of my different scraps because I'm trying to figure out what I can do like in the center because I know it's like a vellum pocket and you see like the beautiful patterns of the tags and I didn't want to cover up any of the tags and so what I decided to do was to create like a little cluster in the center um, like over the pocket portion of the tags and so what I decided to do was take out a bunch of pieces from the crepe paper collections that I'm using and I decided to take one of my small doilies and I'm just gonna build like a little floral cluster in that center and so you'll see me here I'm just playing around with placement of them because I don't want to cover up like I just want to cover up the middle part I don't want anything to kind of go over the edge onto like the to where the tags are I just want just have it all fit in that spot and so I pulled out a pink flower and like a minty green flower and then the leaves that I have coming out are just black and white and so those colors really complemented my tags so well like I'm watching this over now and I'm just like wow this matched really well I didn't I, I don't think I had meant to like have it match so well it just ended up happening that way um, but yeah, so I'm just kind of taping down my little cluster here and I'm going to tape it all to the doily first because you'll see in a moment that I I have a bit of a hard time gluing, like like putting it all down into the center because it's the center. And uh, I think the, uh, the die cut pieces are a mixture of pieces that I printed out and and the ephemera pack from the Marigold collection. And those ephemera pieces, you know, they're printed on quality cardstock. And the ones that I print and cut, I print out on pretty hefty cardstock as well. And so my first thought was maybe I can score the whole doily cluster thing that I have here so that it'll fit in the center, but then the page can actually close because that was the, um, the challenge is to get it so that the page will close. I tried that, it didn't work. And so what I ended up doing was just cutting straight down the middle and gluing those two pieces on either side of the spread so that it'll close easily. Uh, and that, I didn't really want to do that because it, you know, it cuts it in half, but it was the only way that I can get this to close because I put, I glued the pockets really, really close to the edge. And so right there, it, it made it a little a little difficult I mean it'll close but it made it a little difficult to kind of close it you know there wasn't that much space in the middle so I, I had to cut it in half but it's fine because when you see the whole thing laid out open it it all connects and everything so that's what I'm doing here is that I'm gluing everything down in a way that it's as close as the edge as possible and that my book can actually close and I know with time of me opening and closing my journal it'll, it'll like get used to it. It's paper. It'll, it'll bend, it'll fold, it'll get used to it. But that's what I had to do. I had to cut it all in half. And so once I get that main part down, then I can glue down like the little like leaf pieces and the little butterfly that's sticking, uh, like kind of flying off there in the cent in like the off center. And I think I go ahead and pull out some stickers to sort of fill up the space uh, in the middle like so like to fill up most of the doily space really and you'll see me here that I'm still struggling with getting that to close 
But yes, yeah, so I pulled out my So Saying sticker sheet because it actually has a sticker that says a gentle unfurling. And I kind of wanted to put that there to represent my one my word for the year. And now I am looking through my big chunky sticker book that I have and pulling out stickers to again embellish the like the doily part. Um, I pulled out a bunch of these little star stickers. Um, a lot of the Lace and Whimsy sticker sheets have these little black and white star stickers. A lot of my sticker sheets have these little star stickers too, um, but I think I pulled out the ones from Lace and Whimsy and I'm just scattering it, like scattering them about the little cluster. And they're just really cute little accent pieces to a page. And now I'm looking for something that will complement that other butterfly. And so the butterfly is a side profile. Um, but I felt like there needed to be another one kind of offsetting that. And so I'm looking through all of the stickers and I think I eventually settle on a butterfly sticker from one of my sticker sheets. And I think it's from the Whispers of Wonder collection. And I don't actually have any of my physical sticker sheets up in my shop. I do, the, I do have them in digital format, but I am currently working on a new shop like a new shop website um, because I'm hoping to include my digital products there as well but also include some phys some physical products again I've been thinking of making some handmade journals and maybe a few sticker sheets to sell and so you saw that I removed the little star sticker and replaced it with one of my butterflies and then just moved it somewhere else and basically that's that my little cluster's done so now I'm working on the tags the backs are blank because I didn't really print anything on the backs when I printed them out and so I like writing on grid and so I just kind of cut down some grid paper and I am just gluing them onto the back so that I have a nice space to journal because I cannot write in a straight line to save my life. <laughs> and I really like grid. I, I don't really like lined paper. I don't know what it is. I really like working on grid and so I'm just adding grid paper to the backs of these tags like that and I don't actually journal on my tags on camera because it's just me copying what I wrote on the other cards and so I do that off camera but once I have my tags set I actually I was trying to figure out what I can put on top of the tags and so I've decided I decided to write out like what each tag will represent and so my they basically represent my supporting words and so the first supporting word is unraveling the second one is exploring the third one is becoming and i only have three and so i decided to use the last tag as my intentions and that's what i did in the previous spread so the last library card was just a list of intentions a list of tangible i guess tangible goals really and so i just hand wrote out all of the titles so unraveling exploring becoming and intentions and i am cutting them into little strips which i will then glue on the top of the tags and that just gives it a little something and then i i that way i'll know what each tag what each journaling on the back of each tag represents and so that is basically what i'm doing here and i believe it's just the last part of this spread and i just take some double sided tape and i am taping them to the front and then tucking my tags into my pockets because again I do all of the journaling off camera because it's just me copying what I had already written on the library cards before and that version of this spread is actually up on my channel um, it's documenting my guiding word for the year um, I'll be sure to link it in the description and maybe in the cards above if you want to check out that first version but that's basically what I'm recreating here and yeah that is the spread it came out better than I expected I really love how it looks um, here's the photos to follow thank you so much for watching again any links I'll leave in the description box down below and yeah I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!